This is so nerve wracking. Hello people of the interwebs. This is the final video of the Ragnar restoration and build. If you're new and you'd like to get caught up on Ragnar, up above is a link to the playlist of this project and a food cake who's going to accomplish them today. All whilst I do this. I decided to kill two pigeons with one brick and knock out the MR2 because it was pretty dusty. This is totally unacceptable. I know this camera makes the car look clean, but it is not up to standard yet. And I cannot give away a car. This stuff stinks. I'm gonna see if I can save these. Yeah, I could have gotten these powder coated or just replaced them, but I wanted to keep little elements of the car before I restored it so that the previous owner, if they ever ran into this car, they would see enough of their old car there and be like, hey, that was mine. This stuff works amazing, let me tell you. two and a half months since I painted this thing. And even though it's new paint, there is some contaminants on it from when I dry ice blasted and just from it sitting, so. Well, this looks like Gumby's girlfriend. It's not. I gotta put goo to work here. Make sure there's nothing on this paint before I polish it. Look at that, that's after washing the car. There was definitely some contaminants on it. Those little tiny specks of glue bits from when I was gluing the headliner in and I didn't have the glass in yet, it flew out. I kind of lucked out for this being my first paint job and not really having to wet sand it. I mean, I could wet sand it if I wanted this to look like glass, but it's probably about OEM or less orange peel content. I didn't get it on camera in time because it ran away, but there was a little black and white cat kitten. Cat kitten. It was like half cat, half kitten at the door. Oh, there's a bunch of glue, little tiny glue blobs right here. Example, spray glue blob. Angel update. Uh, license plate light. License plate bulb, check. Yes. This thing's still gonna need a good shakedown too once it's all assembled to make sure there's no drivability kinks and get its alignment done. Welcome to an awkward camera angle brought to you by the side of my head. I like the smell of this quick detail spray, which I'm purposely not naming who it's manufactured by because not free sponsor. If you're wondering why I'm doing this now with all the trim pieces installed on the car, it's because the car has brand new paint. So there's no swirls or scratches anywhere. There's never had a wash mitt touched to it. So I only need to polish the main areas on the car. Even though to me, this isn't to my best ability, I feel, I feel like this car came out really well. If yeah. it would have been to my best ability, it would have took twice as long and twice as expensive. About 90% of my car detailing products are either multiple years old or completely just dried out. I'm, I have almost nothing. I should have thought about that ahead of time. Ugh. Is it still liquid? All this stuff is made in Germany, just like the car, and it's old, just like the car. I do miss making detailing content. It's fun. I enjoy detailing cars. One vendor done. Oh yeah, that's all it needed. I mean, if I wanted to be hypercritical, there is little dirt nibs here and there that I could wet sand out. It's so minor and with the color of this car, it doesn't really show up and I'd rather have that extra thickness of paint since it's a single stage.
Those little itty bitty polishers are so handy. Angel update. What? Angel update. Yeah. Angel update. Yeah. Oh, Angel update. Uh, glove box store and um, glove box box. In work. Yeah. INW. Wipe, wipe, all day long. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Angel wants me to stop singing this song. <laughs> Hello, welcome to tomorrow. Hello, tomorrow. This is Angel. This is the icing that will cut your tongue on the insect cake. Measuring and yes. So to the top of the bumper bracket, 21 centimeters. In this jug is a form of acid of some sort. Oh, it sprays because it's windy. It's a love day. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, head unit. Charlie is on bracket duty manufacturing brackets for the skid plate and i am polish ing i'm french but polish polish there's a high likelihood that whoever wins this car might not have ever owned something with single stage paint on it before i personally like single stage for stuff like this because it's what the car would have came with and also it is really durable just you got to keep it polished so it stays shiny <laughs> Polishing done. It's already 5.53 in the evening and I hardly have filmed anything. This is, I can't wait for this car to be done. Yeah, I'll get the job done for sure. It'll stop skids. Charlie made the brackets for this today and Angel got it all mounted up on the front of the car while I was polishing. And uh, yeah, that looks like a proper off-road bug now. The camera doesn't do this stuff justice because this is actually making a huge difference in person with the look of the car, but on camera, it just looks all the same. Like stuff like this, the tire lube for mounting them on the wheels. Can't leave that on there. Before, after, makes a huge difference. This dirty glass has been bothering me so bad, you have no idea. The glass has got little scratches and pits all throughout, but it's the original VW glass. Will you come off? Stuff of like snow. Oh yeah. Look at that, time warp. It's already 6.34. I'm telling you, the time goes by so fast doing all this little stuff that's left to do on the car. Angel and Charlie are already gone. Oh man, this is, this is bad. I don't know if you could tell by last night, but I'm a little bit burnt out right now. <laughs> Doing a bare metal restoration in three months kicked my ass. So that list of stuff I had, it was almost empty and then I filled it back up with more stuff. I'm gonna use the same stuff I used on the Urquatro. While all that polishing made the car look super glossy, it, it's not gonna stay that way without some Carnuba. I thought about ceramic coating this, but the whole fact that I used a single stage paint because that's what it would have had, I figured I might as well stay classy. Do this too. Is that excessive? That's excessive. Ceramic coatings might last longer, but 
this stuff works amazing. You just gotta keep up with it and you're gonna have to do that anyway because it's single stage. This stuff gets like a pearlescent rainbow effect when it's ready. It's, it's ready. I just derped hard for like 45 minutes while this cured. I'm slightly compelled to wet sand this because I'm a f***ing perfectionist, but that's so glossy. In case you're wondering about those paint pot drips I had up there by the wiper arms, there's a reason why I haven't applied any wax up there yet. I'd say that's not too shabby considering I did absolutely nothing to this other than polish after paint. I carnubed the chrome just to help it prevent it from getting water spots and the headlight because bug guts. Shiny ing, shiny ing, shiny ing, mirroring, shiny ing. I feel like I'm polishing an egg. Last panel. K Schwager Pforz, K dot Schwager Pforzheim. Pforzheim. What does that mean, my Deutsch speaking? Viewers. Das emblem is held in with Koopel goobers. <laughs> and mine are missing. Ich will substitute. Maybe? Maybe I will substitute? I don't know. Ah, I got an idea. Creative RI. Commence sucking. There's all kinds of bits of shit in here from trimming the dash pad. This is a piece of tungsten carbide. These are distinguished gentlemen. I am now blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night. Goodbye paint pot drips. This is so nerve wracking. Almost done. 1500 grit on the mini DA. A little bit of polish. Oh. The goal wasn't to completely eradicate this. It was just to make it less noticeable, and I think the average person won't even see anything over here. I just gotta wait for this carnuba to cure, and then I can wipe it off and put the wipers on. I must make my contribution to history since I kept all the original stickers from the previous owner and the way the car was before. I am now going to add my own. One of the things that didn't make it in time for this video was the harness bar and the pads for the roll bar. There's a few things I'm gonna add to the car off camera before the car review and just do a couple more fine tunings on it. My goal is to film the car review on this thing within the next week and a half or so, maybe week. And uh, the a winner will be picked most likely on December 1st. The guys from Power JDM who handled the logistics of my giveaway had to do a fourth restock. So we wanna make sure everyone gets their orders and then I'm gonna do the announce the winner. I appreciate everyone being patient. Just keep in mind, I'm not Amazon and it's only a small operation. Yeah, that's, that's good. That'll do. Make sure these door seals stay nice and moist. You have no idea how incredibly satisfying applying this stuff is. The stuff smells amazing. I have a feeling this is the first thing you're gonna smell when you get in the car. Oh yeah, look at that. There you go, the finishing touch. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Ragnar is done. He's like 99.8% finished. The rest of it is not enough to make a video on, but yeah. Here it is. This is the first time I've seen this outside since it's been all polished and put back together. So I'm literally seeing this for the first time just like you are. I love this color. 
You don't really notice it on camera, but it really pops in person. It's like lemon meringue with a lot of lime. One of the things that I have to tweak and adjust is the skin plate underneath rattles when you rev the engine. It's really close still. So I gotta make some adjustments to that. The insides, OEM, clean looking, simple, comfy seats. I haven't connected the frunk cable to the latch inside the glove box just yet. So that's why the frunk lid is just slightly popped right now. As far as my new project goes, I'm still waiting on the second half of it to arrive. I can't really say much more than that. So before I film the review on this thing right here, I have to update you guys on the Ranger. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, bye.